Welcome to the official AFL Fantasy Podcast with the Traders. G'day with the Traders, I'm Roy, I coach Destroy and I'm here with Warnie. Coach of the Warn, John oh, Calvin. Coach of Calvin Nater. It's time boys. Yes, it's it Calvin's is. Kangas today. Calvin's we are going to Kangas. be previewing... All of the teams, and we're starting at the bottom. No, Boys. we're not. <laughs> not <laughs> bottom fantasy wise, no, bottom no. the ladder. Because cow. I dread this time when I get the kangaroos for some reason. Every year, Warn Dog, you it's do. just, that's how it comes out. My goal today is to convince you yeah. to select six kangaroos in your starting well, team. Six unrealistic. in your starting team. Six in your starting team. That's ridiculous. No. Now, I think. Um, this is a year we start getting more positive about the Roos, though. They've made yep. changes, and I think they're on the up. Okay. Fantasy-wise as well. 100%, Roy. Right. Let's, so you sell it, Cal. Let's sell start it. with the man, Aaron Hall. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. Well, he's at the top of the list, Cal. Well, he's no. at the top of the list. $914,000 <laughs> will cost you. Imagine saying that this time last year. Okay. Aaron Hall will cost you nine hundred and fourteen thousand dollars. Now the thing is, that, it's crazy. Without even thinking about the salary gap going up and stuff. Like I'm but thinking about like, our keeper league. He's sitting there in the because we um, weren't allowed to pick off. Yeah, the we waiver we had wire. waivers off. No free agents. He's sitting pick up. there. That guy's sitting there. The number one selection. And wow. I, I threw the <laughs> whole draft, season, and I'm at the bottom, <laughs> so I will get him now. Still he averaged, to help you. He averaged one hundred and nine. This is the thing. He was a sub. He came on for an eleven. He got injured on a 35. Take those scores out, oh, Roy. Of course. That's 100% can. okay in that this scenario. That is an average of 119. Beast. Right? Mode. Unbelievable. Activate. Plus, and that's the same as what he averaged from round seven onwards this year. Right. With the lowest score of 101 after his buy. He's a lock. He is. Is he? He's a lock, He dog. finished real strong as well. How old is he now, V8? Doesn't matter. Speaking of age... He had like a 12-year breakout. Age doesn't mean a <laughs> no, thing. No, no. He averaged over 100 once, I think, at the I Gold think Coast. So, and, yeah. uh, but not playing this half-back role. Where he, he just he do was whatever amazing. he wanted. So he's, he's the first one you lock in. Well, the thing is, so, okay, it's easy just to throw that lock, lock, lock around at this time oh, of year. I, I can't do it. <laughs> what? You're not doing it? No. It, he makes your weekend, doesn't Too he? Too right, he does. <laughs> and he's a captain option. He is, 100%. He's a he captain is. option. Actually, he wore the C for us yeah. in the run home. Too right. Last year. All right. God, I like it, Cal. You've sold me one. Okay. One from one already. I won't see this one, but we've got Jack Zebel. Yeah, it was okay. a, it was think amazing. about when the bull, the Z bull, was yeah. in full flight. Yeah, look at those scores: one hundred and thirty-nine, one hundred and forty, one hundred and seventy. Mm. Mm. You're not touching the bull. No, he ran into a wall, didn't he? He was no, going. You can't at, touch actually. He was going at one hundred and twenty in his first six. Mm. He was amazing. So they're two players at the top of their list, both defenders. That's obviously both Fords last year too. So pick that up. So that's a position change. There, right. You're now, right. if my calculations are correct, in defence this year, we've only got three guys who have averaged 100, and there's two of them. From wow. uh, yeah. the Kanga, Kanga, Kanga. <laughs> roo, roo, roo. <laughs> all right. What else you got for us, Let's Cal? talk about Ben Cunnington now. Yeah, um, hopefully he's going to be all right, but mm, yeah. I hope so. Yeah. So after his buy, he averaged 109. Mm-hmm. So he finished really, really strong. So he's priced at 99. So a little bit of meat on the bone there if he's back... Um, Playing really well now, Hugh Greenwood, our boy. Yeah. Huey makes his way there. Well, priced as high as he ever has been. Yeah, yeah. Draft only, dog. Yeah. As a midfielder. Yeah. Makes yeah. it really, really tricky. Just the, God, the tackling machine. He's just guaranteed yeah. a solid score every week through tackles. And then if he finds the pill, yeah, he's great for North draft. Melbourne opponents tend to have the ball a lot. They so. do? <laughs> Bang. Not when Hugh's <laughs> around. I guess the Gold Coast opponents had that too. So. Well, True. <laughs> Now, the two, guys we, the two guys we looked at last year in Will Phillips and Tom Power. Yeah, yeah. right. Okay, so... These draftees. Phillips, they're both mid-forwards, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. and Phillips is priced at an average of 44. Wow. Okay, so 366k for him. Uh, Tom Powell, obviously, is the better player. Yeah. Okay, and he still holds his forward status, which is great. It costs you eight more. It does. It does. Like 200k. 200k yeah. more. Now, he had a four-week patch where he averaged 93. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he can get it done. Mm. You just couldn't do it, could you? No. No, you couldn't. But I'll tell you what, he could pre-season be. games can trick me. I don't need to see much from a player like that in terms of what role they're playing yep. for me to think that's a did nice you see, investment. Yeah, did you see the little highlight clip of him? Yeah. Okay, so it was on Twitter, got the ball, I sort of did. whipped in and out of everyone, and I was like, wow, that's amazing. 
He's in my team, right? And it was in the article. And someone wrote, you've got to remember, he's playing against North Melbourne. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I was con- – that when that was going around, I was more concerned about what those other guys – we're doing the candy they were jumping at. Oh, mate, they were hungry, that was weren't bizarre. they? <laughs> yeah. Oh, here's a guy that you can have in your team. Right. Of the six people, you can have Taron Thomas. 100% you Taren. can. Taron Thomas. Taren. So he averaged 104 in his last six. Mm. Yes. With a lowest score of 98. He's still a forward, priced at 81. He could be 95 plus. Yeah. Now, I revealed a team a couple of weeks ago before the game launched, and How? I had Dusty there. Mm. Oh. And for 1K. Um, difference yeah. in those. I think Taran's a better pick than Dustin Martin. I oh, know that that what? is where it's at. That's the question. I think Taran. I feel like he could be the hundred before. I think Taran can this year. He's got a higher ceiling at yeah. the moment. Yeah, true. But we haven't seen full. Few slim things Dustin. have changed. Yeah, a few things have changed. I guess for uh, North mm. as well. Like you know, Hugh comes in. Yeah. See how Cunnington is looking, but yeah. like it's going to be quite an interesting um, makeup. But obviously, still got that forward status, so it he, makes it quite an easy pick because he definitely you to started lock him in playing there. mid forward yeah. as opposed to forward mid, didn't yeah. he? And he hit the scoreboard as well with whatever yep. he does. So, gives you a little yeah, bonus goal. Yeah. yeah, I like him a lot as Same. an option, and we do like to talk about that end of season form as being a little bit of a factor, whether it's just finding something to talk about or if it's... Uh, I think it's relevant. No, it does, it does correlate, I would say. Yeah, like, it feels like with him, they said, let's have a look at this role for next year. Yeah. Mm. See where you're at with it. And he was very good at it. What is he? This will be his fourth year in the system. I pray, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he's ready to go back. So he's another Roo Roy that you can lock into your team with confidence. I'm happy to do that one. Excellent. Uh, Jed Anderson, now he had that COVID year where he's averaged 104. That was awesome. He was a tackling machine. Yeah. Now, he played one game this year at the start of the season, had a 127. Yeah. He's like, here I go, boys. Yeah. I'm back. However, hurt his ankle, missed 14 games. Now he's priced an average of 81. You're <sighs> not going to touch it. I think mm. he can. Oh, you think he can? Yeah. Yeah, I like. I yeah, don't mind like it. Having that forward status sitting yes, there. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Low risk it's with a forward status. Points you per minute behind. guy. Yes. Points per minute guy. People were hot on him this time last year. Exactly. And it was for more than that. Yeah. And his avenue to scoring. It, look, yes. There is going to be a week where he burns you with an injury early in a game. Yeah. That will happen. But as a forward... Yeah. He's so good. Started last guess, year with 127. He has to be... He's, he has to be in my little black book. Yes. I don't know if I could go through with it because it is still expensive. Yeah. That flag, I guess, good. has to be that, that big average that he had, which was, um, where is he? It was from 15 games in 2020. That was um, Corona ball. It was. It was. So, it, yeah. It's, yeah, like a significant. But factor. he's one to put in your little book, Roy. 100%. I was really looking at him hard for um, that role in 22 I did a few weeks ago. Yeah. Mm. All right, here's another guy that you can have in your team, Roy. Right, we're starting to look down the bottom order. We are. We're looking at the rookies now. We're looking at the number one drafted rookie. God, you're right. I am looking at a few of these. Yeah, mate, I told you six. Mm. I'll get you six. You shouldn't have complained about having the rookies. No, I I didn't at all. I put my hand up. I said, dog, (laughs) pick me. It's a fancy feast at the moment. So, Horn Francis, so he played, now, dog locks this, he played against men. Yes. Oh, no. So, 20 games in the sample. Average 74 against men. Not boys, no, men. It's yeah. good. So he's legit good. Now, if he's going to carry this hype around him yeah. of the number one pick, just like Sam Walsh and Rao and, the, and yeah. those guys, he what can he average? Now, so I'm looking here. Sam Walsh averaged 92 mm. in what? his first season and Rao 71 with those injury affected yeah. scores. Is that what he's going to be? Could he be an 80? <laughs> He could. He's going to be more half forward, though, isn't he, to begin with? I'm thinking a 70. So that's the five. thing, though. If he's averaged 74 in the sample... Yeah, but he's playing as a midfielder there. So some stats from Frico, great article. Check that back out. Uh, go to afl.com.au slash fantasy, and you get that from a few days ago. Mm. Um, he mentioned a few things there, like he won 52% of his possessions in a contested ma- manner, which ranked fourth of any midfielder in the comp to play more than 10 games. So... Playing that midfield time may not necessarily come through in the AFL. True. That's that's the issue that I think that's where he's getting a lot of his scoring but from. We're starting with him on our field, aren't we? Yeah. They'll throw yeah. him in there. Two hundred and ninety K. He's actually too good not to be in there. Agree. He'll force his way in there. Yeah. 
He kicks out power and those other donkeys. Yeah. He'll hit the scoreboard <laughs> as well. So in the prelim final, he had 24 disposals. Um, three goals. And three goals for his 112. So he's yep. definitely in our team. 100%. Yeah, we pay up for that. We do. Yep. Of the other rookies, we're looking at uh, Jacob Edwards. Yep. Now, Dog, you tell me he got picked up in the, uh, the mid-season draft. Yeah, so I think he's got to be an option that they look at. Like, if, depends on what they're going to do with that, um, the tall timber. So... Didn't they try to get rid of Tristan Sherry? Oh, yeah, he's no yes, good. Yeah. And Campbell's gone as well. So <laughs> whatever they do... And Goldie's not getting any younger. It's no, so <laughs> he may get some games into him this year. So worth a look at the Ruckford 190k, so basement. So he could float there on a bench at least or something Gosh. like that. But when he comes in... Speaking of him. Goldie, what didn't you have him yeah. classified as the Ruck of the... The decade. Yeah, decade? and by far he is, Roy. He's and what he's out. Price in the mid-80s now. didn't even deserve a preview. New, new decade. Mid-80s. <laughs> yeah. You said he's not getting any younger, but he's he's not 50. No. Hogan Goldberg, he's actually a very good, um, if you're punting your rucks a little bit. As what? In, dra- in draft. Oh, okay. As a, well, as a ruck, not as another position. Right. Okay. Because we do talk about draft here. Well, I'll, hot tip for the rest of your previews coming no, up. Okay. Mate. Remember where he finished in our draft. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well. Deliberately exactly. came last, Roy. But Goldie would be, so you're probably getting him. Like oh, you can get him whenever you want. Six, seven, yeah. furthest on. Like, and you're just going, yep, you could be waiting on that pretty well and not going too bad because mid-80s is what he'll do at a minimum type thing. I 100%. Mm. Uh, All right, any other rookies? Uh, Phoenix Spicer, Warn Dog. Yep. Bargain basement price. Listed as a forward, played one game last year, scored a twenty-one. Yeah. So, so as a um, look, we're just saying, watch these guys. Right. Yeah, well, pencil them in. The fact that a little book over there. The fact that his basement price. Yes. that's the thing. Yeah. And he was burning up the track in the preseason as well. Whoa, last year. Oh, so let's last hope he year. Does this Gosh. year. Right. The one that you missed there, Cow. I think we've got to uh, remember some of the uh, the names of players in our in our teams. Yeah. When we've got them. There's oh. a bloke called Gota. Oh, oh the goat. that's a good <laughs> start. Great start. So, Josh Gota, he was picked at 22 in the draft, so yep. he comes in at 248k. So, a tall midfielder, so mm, can also like play defence. So, average 20 disposals um, in the NAB League, so then he moved into the defence later in the season, so he could be used in that. So, he uh, is someone that I think uh, can be all right, but the Frico plays like Callum Mills. Oh, that's wow, good. Okay. Gee whiz. Well, wow. it did take Callum Mills quite a long time for us to <laughs> get him to so, be fantasy relevant. So I've just done a quick count here, dog. I currently have five roos. I couldn't quite get to six. Five roos in my team, and I reckon you guys do as well. Oh, well, there's got to be some watch lists. As you've well. got Hall, you've got um, Thomas, you've got Anderson, you've got Horn Francis, and then you'll have one of those guys there on your bench, I reckon. Yeah, so. definitely. Good work, mate. Done and dusted. Pretty happy with that. I reckon you need a punishment, Roy. If mm. cow stuffs up or annoys us too much, is it you have to be true to your word. You're picking <laughs> six roos in your team this year. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll be back with more club previews. Make sure you subscribe on Apple Podcasts. Hit that little notification thing on Spotify, and keep clicking back to afl.com.au and the AFL Live app for more fantasy content. <laughs>